All right, week 17, Rockbridge. This is definitely very fun um, and very easy. So have all the kids be a part of this experiment. Um, maybe do it a few times, see what you can stack on top of the books. Um, maybe see what weights it can hold. Uh, a lot of different experiments. Um, you can have with this rock bridge experiment. I'll provide a lot of books about the same height, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but we're going to move um, the two chairs about 12 inches apart and lay one book on each chair with the edge of the book on the edge of the chairs. And then we stack the books on top of each other so that one book extends a little bit farther than the next until we're at the very top where we have one book on top. Just like that. Um, no part of the bottom of the books overlaps the edge of the chair. Each book above the bottom book extends over the chair's edge until the top book is completely past the edges of the chairs. Uh, all the objects have their weights located in one spot called the center of gravity. The book bridge is supported because the center of gravity of each of the sides of the bridge is over the chair. In nature, a natural rock bridge, in nature, natural rock, rock bridges are formed by weathering and erosion processes. These bridges balance because the particles making up the bridge overlap in such a way that they place the center of gravity of the structure over the supporting sides. So very fun. There's a lot of fun and things you can do uh, to involve all the kids and maybe do this a few times because it is going to be a fast experiment, but definitely fun and definitely a lot of good stuff for the kids to talk about.